We're now ready to find the global surface matrix for a frame element. So to recap, this is what we've got so far. We have found the local stiffness matrix for a frame element. So local stiffness matrix for a frame element to be a six by six matrix. And we found a six by six transformation matrix for a typical frame element that would convert from local to global coordinate system. These are the equations that we have. The relationship between forces and displacements are given by a stiffest matrix. Then we can convert from local to global stiffest matrix or coordinate system using the transformation matrix that we found before. Same can be done for the displacements. And if we replace these equations, we'll have a big equation like that. And this portion would be the global stiffness matrix for a frame element. To expand, we'll have E over L times the transpose of the transformation matrix. So this is T transpose. Then this is the local stiffness matrix. And this is the transformation matrix as is. And if we multiply this 6 by 6 to this 6 by 6 to this 6 by 6 matrix, we'll have a 6 by 6 global stiffness matrix. Having a knowledge of computer programming is very helpful to find this um, equation or this matrix because it could get very cumbersome. And with a little matrix algebra, with a little matrix algebra, we can find that matrix to be a big matrix like this. As you can see, they are filled with elements from both the truss and um, the beam. And the sines and coses for the angle between the local force, local displacement, or local current system and global current system is actually here as well. One thing to notice is that the stiffness matrix, as we expect, is symmetric. So this part, this component would be placed in here, so far, so on, so on and so forth. So we can populate this six by six big stiffness matrix for, for a uh, frame element. But it is actually easier to um, use a computer program and use this relationship and basically type these uh, multiplication of the matrices in a computer program like MATLAB or Python rather than trying to type this big matrix in here. And that's what I would prefer to do by running a program to find that matrix for me.